Hello and welcome to this short demonstration to help you quickly get started with using 42 Research Data's data management and publishing services. My name's Connie Clare and I'm the Community Manager from 42 Research Data. In this short video, I will demonstrate the process for how you can upload your data under restricted access using the 40 Research Data repository. There is an option for you to publish your data set under embargo within the metadata submission form. Once you have uploaded your data files, towards the end of the metadata submission form, there is an option for you to apply embargo. Using the Select Period drop-down menu, it's possible to place your files under embargo for a specified period of time. You can choose to delay access to your dataset by selecting an option from the drop-down menu. From one month, four months, six months, one year and two years. Alternatively, you can use the calendar to select a specified date by which the embargo content will become fully publicly available within 42 research data. Typically, this temporary embargo feature would be used when the data underlies a manuscript that has not yet been published. You can apply the embargo on data files only, which means that the files will remain private but the metadata record will be publicly available. Alternatively, if there's a valid reason, you can temporarily place the entire content, data and metadata, under embargo, which means that nothing will be made publicly available until the date that the embargo is lifted. If you have to publish your data under permanent embargo, you should provide a reason for why the files are under embargo, since this is useful for users viewing your metadata record. The title, Files Under Embargo, is the default, and this will be shown at the top of the metadata record once your dataset is published. Request access to files allows users to email you and your institutional admin to request access to the embargo data files. You can tick this box, which allows anybody to request access to your embargoed files. You can generate a private link. You will be able to share this link with your research group and collaborators prior to publishing your data. You can also reserve a digital object identifier. A persistent identifier in the form of a DOI will be generated that can be linked to your manuscript or another resource that supports your dataset. For more information about completing the full metadata submission form, watch our tutorial about how to upload your data. To view our other tutorials, head over to our YouTube channel. We hope this video tutorial helps make the steps towards publishing your data in our repository as simple as possible. You can find more details about these and other topics on our FAQ webpage. For more information about how 42 Research Data can support you, please visit our website or send us an email via researchdata at 40u.nl. To find fellow fair data enthusiasts from your research discipline and to join our growing community of researchers and research data support professionals, please visit our community website.